This is my third video on basic editing techniques for YouTube videos. If you're not sure how to use a video editor, you might want to see the other two first before you continue with this one. If you're a regular to this channel, you might have seen a couple of videos recently in which I did some amazing things. In one recent video, for example, I lost my clothes, whereas in another, I disappeared completely. And you may be wondering how you could do that for yourself. Now, you might not believe it, but if you've managed to follow the first two videos in this series so far, where I talk about how to use a video editor, you already have all the information that you need, all the knowledge necessary to make disappearing tricks like that. It's really quite simple. Let's start off with the disappearing clothes trick. I began by standing still for a couple of seconds and then taking my shirt off, being very careful not to move my feet. Then I simply settled back into the same position that I was before and stood for another couple of seconds. I wanted to replace the original soundtrack from the camera with music, so the first thing that I did was to remove the soundtrack. That involved separating the audio and video and then simply selecting the soundtrack and deleting. Now I put the scrub up at the point just a frame or two before I start to take my shirt off and make a cut at that point. I then move the scrubber to the other end of the video to the point just a frame or two after I've taken my shirt off and settled back into position. Then I make another cut so I've got three sections of video in all. Now I simply delete the second section, the middle section, leaving me with my shirt on and my shirt off and I can put the third clip next to the first clip simply to get a jump cut. And there we go, like magic. Now I wanted to add music to this. In the original video I was able to put in the whole piece of music but obviously I'm just going to use a tiny portion of it. Now the interesting thing was that I wanted to line up the point at which my shirt disappears with a specific moment on the music. And of course on the timeline the waveform is displayed so I can pretty accurately see where that exact moment is that I want to line up with the cut in my film. And that's right there. So now if I simply trim it a little and then I can play it and you get the full effect. Magic. The other one is where I vanish without trace during a sneeze. It's a very similar technique with some small differences. First I performed the sneeze. Then I simply got out of my seat and got out of sight under the desk, being very careful not to move too many things, especially the camera. I had to make sure that the seat was in roughly the right position, and then it was a question of throwing the handkerchief in the air a few times. It took several attempts to get it right. What I had to do was to get it to roughly where I was holding it in the first part. It's not as easy as you might think. First I make a cut at the point where I'm at the very height of my sneeze. My video editor plays the sound at the point where the scrubber is which sounds very strange. Once I've found the exact frame I can make a cut. Now I move to the other end of the video and find the 
best example of me throwing the handkerchief in the air, which to my mind was my final attempt. It's then a question of placing the scrubber at the point where the handkerchief is in mid-flight. It helps to zoom in onto the timeline to do this. I need to get the frame exactly right. I don't want my hand in the shot. I'll make a cut and as before remove the central section, the bit that we don't need, and move the two clips together. The only problem is when I play it my sneeze cuts out far too early. <coughs> to deal with this I need to separate the sound from the video again and now I can edit them separately and I can make the sound of the sneeze carry on into the point after I've disappeared. It can be a little tricky to get it exactly right but you can see why it's so useful to be able to actually see the waveform of the soundtrack you're editing. Once I think I've got everything as I want it I can use the preview just to make sure. And that's the magic of video. Okay, it's not exactly Star Wars, but you can still make yourself do some really impossible things. And when I say impossible, I mean impossible. I mean, these things just don't happen in real life, do they? Hey, what's happened? <laughs>